I mean, Juju, this was emotional. Absolutely. You know, people forget that Jamie Lynn has a lot of her own trauma to unpack. She grew up in the same parents as her world famous sister, a child star herself with similar pressures inside that star making machinery. And for most of her life, she said she was pretending that everything was okay, even when things were terribly wrong. And she has kept her silence about so much for so long until now. On her own path to stardom, Jamie Lynn Spears, a teen queen of Nickelodeon. I had to go to boarding school. Following in the footsteps of her famous sister, pop star Britney Spears. I adored her. I just, I just really just, she felt like everything to me. And this morning, Jamie Lynn Spears, now 30, an actress. It's not that simple. And at some point, you have to own the path you're on. Any girl would Songwriter and mother of two, speaking out about the pressures she says came with the famous last name and her family's complicated dynamics in her new book, Things I Should Have Said. Why write this book now? It was really important to me to, first off, honor my voice. I have to do it, or how else can I expect my daughters to stand up for themselves? She details an unstable upbringing, due in part to what she describes as her father's struggles with alcohol when she was young. According to the New York Times, court documents show he attended rehab for alcoholism in 2004, when she was a teen. He wrote in the book, he spent most of my life in that cycle of ruinous behavior. His bouts of drinking always caused me periods of torment and sorrow. How did his drinking shape your lives? For me, it was, um, created a lot of anxiety. The hardest part was like, could I, could I trust you? Are you drinking? Are you not? It was something that no kid should have to question. She also describes the close bond she shared with her sister, who was 10 years older. I felt like she was another mama. Jamie Lynn says as the years passed, she noticed Brittany's behavior begin to change. Words that you've used in the book to describe her behavior over the, your lifetime was erratic, paranoid, spiraling. How do you see your sister's state of mind currently? I can't really speak to anyone else's state of mind. I don't think that's fair. But I'm allowed to say how I felt in those because that matters. It matters that I was in pain. In 2008, Brittany was put into a heavily scrutinized conservatorship. Last June, before it was dissolved, Brittany testified in court calling it abusive, saying, I would honestly like to sue my family and my family has lived off my conservatorship for 13 years. What was your reaction when the conservatorship was dissolved? I was happy. I was, first off, I don't understand. When it was put into place, I was 17 year old. I was about to have a baby, so I didn't understand what was happening, nor was I focused on that. I was focused on the fact that I was a 17 year old about to have a baby. I understand just as little about it then as I do now. You talked in the book about um, the role that you were asked to play in the conservatorship. There was a time where my sister asked me of her trust and will if I would be the person who was sure that her boys got what they needed. Whether she's in a conservatorship or not, that was a very normal thing, I thought. Once I realized that, you know what, she's in a conservatorship, I felt like I just didn't want to be a part of until maybe she was out of the conservatorship. So there was no like, me overseeing funds or something like that. And if that was, it was a misunderstanding, but either way, I took no steps to be a part of it. Jamie Lynn revealing for the first time she even tried to give Brittany the resources she needed to end the conservatorship. I've always been my sister's biggest supporter. So when she needed help, I set up ways to do so. Went out of my way to make sure that um, she had the contact she needed to possibly go ahead and in this conservatorship and just in this all for our family. If it's going to cause this much discord, why continue it? So you didn't always agree with the conservatorship? It wasn't about agreeing with the conservatorship. Everyone has a voice and it should be heard. So if she wanted to talk to other people, then I did. I set that up. I even spoke to her legal team who I, her legal team, previous legal team, and that did not end well in my favor. So I did take the steps to help, but how many times can I take the steps without, um, you know, she has to walk through the door. There's been speculation of a rift, many of Britney's fans attacking Jamie Lynn online, noting that Britney unfollowed her on Instagram.
Brittany also posting last July that her sister's tribute performance at the 2017 Radio Disney Awards to remixes of her songs hurt her deeply. Honestly, it was somewhat confusing to me about that, and I actually have spoke to her about that. And I was doing a tribute to honor my sister and all the amazing things that she's done. But you've cleared that up with her? I have cleared up with the fact that I don't think she's personally upset with me about that. Truthfully, I don't know why that bothers her. Despite their complicated relationship, Jamie Lynn says she still has a deep love for her big sister. What happened to that love? Um, what has caused this rift between you? That love is still there, 100%. Um, I love, I love my sister. I only, I've only ever loved and supported her and done what's right by her, and she knows that. So I don't know why we're in this position right now. She went on to describe it as often trying to protect her sister to her own detriment, never really getting a chance to speak up for herself. And it basically took a near-death experience for Jamie Lynn to really find the courage to speak up for herself. And we'll get into that in the next hour, George. But we reached out to Brittany and her father, Jamie, and neither responded. You know, it takes great personal courage to talk publicly about your mental health and your family trauma, especially if your last name is Spears. But for the first time, Jamie Lynn is sharing details of her daughter's near-death experience, how it led her to a lot of painful truths and gave her the courage to share that truth. When Jamie Lynn Spears revealed she was pregnant at 16 in December of 2007, the intense scrutiny she faced rivaled the media circus that followed her famous sister's every move. I'm curious what you think about sort of the world, that the paparazzi world of that time. I, I look back and I think, wow, how is this acceptable? Why are you here other than to shame me and do benefit off of a young girl who's going through something already so traumatic and so deep and personal. We say we do better, but now we just go into the comments on Instagram and do it. Before going public, Spears says she felt pressured by members of her family and management team, but she was adamant. You wrote, and I'm going to quote you, the entire Spears team was already caught up in my sister's PR difficulties and everyone around me just wanted to make the issue disappear. Yeah, I think that the easy thing for possibly them would have been like let's just let's just get this over with and like you go back to being the perfect little sister because that's your role why do you think it makes you emotional still all these years later i just like thank god that i like you know i like thank god i stood up for myself and like said exactly what i wanted Eventually, Jamie Lynn says she was sent away to a remote cabin somewhere in the snowy northeast to avoid the news. No phone, no contact with the outside world for weeks. That time was, I felt, it felt like you're almost like suffocating. It was just like, I can't, I, I felt like, what was I going to do? I was a kid and maybe this isn't my best interest and maybe this is what I'm supposed to do because, of course, I don't want to, be, you know, hounded by the paparazzi or the tabloids or allow them to control my narratives, but it felt like I was really being alienated. Daughter Maddie was born in June and Jamie Lynn left Hollywood to raise her. But when she was eight, a near fatal accident changed both their lives forever. Maddie flipped an ATV and got trapped underwater for more than six minutes as Jamie Lynn frantically tried to rescue her. What stays with you from that day? The biggest thought that I think stays with me that like haunts me um, is that when I was trying to save her, when I thought that I'd lost her, I was so afraid that her last thought was, why didn't mama save me? I just hope she knows that like I was doing everything I could if that was the last thing that she lived, you know? Maddie recovered. Jamie Lynn says the experience brought her closer to God and forced her to re-examine her entire life, including her own mental health struggles, the anxiety, depression, and OCD she'd been suppressing for years. It really was like to the point where my panic attacks were all consuming, where I'm counting, I'm touching the doorknob seven times. I've got to, you know, it was consuming my life to the point where it physically was taking over me and I went and 
finally spoke to a therapist. At the time, I, you know, took medicine and got back to a place to where I felt stable. It's quite clear throughout the book that you've come to a lot of self-discovery, a lot of painful realizations. So I think that when your worst fear happens, you get a lot less afraid of everything else. I think that it did. It made me reevaluate everything and who I was as a person and where I needed to be better. You know, Jamie Lynn is a songwriter and in true lyrical form, as we were chatting, she said to me off the cuff, sometimes you have to be shaken to the core to know what your core is. It sounds like a Robinism, doesn't it? And seriously, she is very much in touch with that core and what's real and meaningful in her life. And we should note, George, we reached out to her family and they did not respond to comments. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.